Hello guys, while analyzing various open source projects for inspiration, I found this line in one of the open source projects in Monica in model of address, there is touches attribute for the model, the property. Do you know what that means? And do you know in general what is touch in Eloquent? Let me show you a few examples. So historically, the method touch, if we go to the Laravel API documentation, it's not in the Laravel docs officially, by the way, I found it only here. So if you search the Laravel docs for touch, you wouldn't find the method itself. Basically touch, if you call it on the model, so for example, user touch, without any parameters, it would just update the updated add column. In other words, when you don't want to update any fields of the actual record, but you just want to inform the system that the record was updated. And by default, it updates the update timestamp, which is updated at, but you can provide another field, another column name of the database, like for example, verified at or any other timestamp. So that's the historical thing, how touch works. Then if we go back to the example of address model, touches contact contact is a parent relationship it's a belongs to so address belongs to a contact and that touches is in the official laravel documentation and we can read about touching parent timestamps and this is a more practical use that when you update the record for example of address it should update the updated add field of the parent record in the laravel docs the example is this Whenever you update the comment, it touches the post, like the post was updated with the new comment. Sounds pretty realistic scenario, right? And then you can order the posts by updated at, like they were updated with the last comments. Pretty typical scenario on forums like Laracast, for example. And then another final thing I wanted to show you with touch, released pretty recently in Laravel 9.20 something, 25 from what I remember, Steve Bauman suggested to add touch not only to Laravel model, to eloquent model object, but also to query builder. So if you do something like user where something touch, it would update the updated ad for all of the results by this condition. So originally, as I said, this is on eloquent model. So user object and then touch, but from Laravel 9.20 something, you can do not only model touch, but condition touch. Have you used the touch in your projects? Share your practical examples in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel to get quick tips like this one and see you guys in other videos.